the drama. That was not lying. I, I never said well, it. Well, it. It's it. The resolution. You know what? I'm not going to go any further until you apologize. It's all today on Trisha. Tiffany says her days of working as an escort are over. The last time I did it was in 2007. Come on, Tiff, stop playing with these people. Don't have me come way out here, brother. You playing with these people. What has him convinced she's gone back to her old profession? You jump into a car with a strange man who feeds you pizza. What, yes, what I did, Trisha. Friends My daughter board. and me were hungry, OK? What about this STD? How come he didn't have it? Elliot never got tested. I, did I don't get care tested. what he tells you, she Elliot. Lying. I did get tested. tested. What will happen when the truth's revealed? The polygraph determined that Tiffany. <laughs> this is not even right. Elliot, I don't care what this that test said. I man, never I, did I, anything. I, I, wait, I don't care man, what that test man, said. Whatever, I never did I'm anything. Shooting. Okay. A Trisha show who done it. Jan's family jewels have gone missing. I mean, why are you making such an issue when you ain't even looking at I want my for? jury back. It was my okay, life. Well. And everyone is pointing fingers. So you think William stole it? I know he's got it. But this is the man who's going to marry your daughter. She's going to marry a thief, is that <laughs> right? Thief and liar, yeah. Could she have stolen it, your daughter? If she did, that's pretty low. Do you think your aunt you stole man. the jewelry? Of course I do. If she was out there, sure she did. I think Carolyn had something to do with it. <laughs> is the jewel thief. William, Carolyn, Jan, Miranda, do you know where any of Jan's missing jewelry is right now? Bring it on, baby, bring it on. I took it all. I took it all. I took it all. Today on Trisha. Welcome, Elliot. Elliot's been with the love of his life, Tiffany, for eight years, and they're raising a five-year-old daughter together. Now, in the beginning of the relationship, Tiffany admitted to Elliot that she once worked as an escort, but she promised to never, ever go back to that life. Well, sadly, Elliot believes that promise has been broken. Not only did Elliot find out that Tiffany was getting into cars with strange men, he's found another man's underwear under his bed. Oh. Here are some other reasons why Elliot believes Tiffany is being unfaithful. In the beginning, we had a great relationship. Tiffany is the first person that I ever treated like a queen. I found out she was prostituting, and I never ever judged her for that. Early on in my life, I was running the streets. Since being with Tiffany, I changed my whole life for her and our daughter, Malia. I admit I cheated in the past. I had a daughter outside our relationship, but I'm not cheating now. I know Tiffany is cheating. She had an STD, and I never got one. So if I don't have it, where did she get it from? Tiffany smells like sex, like she's been with another man. I haven't had sex with my woman in four months. I can't live my life with a woman who's not being faithful. If Tiffany doesn't pass this test, I'm moving on. Wow. Now, Elliot, the thing everybody went woo at is when you said you hadn't had sex with Tiffany for four months. This is how bad this is? Yes, yeah, it's going on four months now. What, what, are, what are your reasons? You... Because now, like, she have a, str a strong odor on her. Like, she so says... what, you're sleeping in separate beds or something? No, we, we sleep in the same bed. Yeah, you just so... don't go anywhere near her I don't go nowhere near her. Okay. She so... trying to jump on top, push her back. Getting into cars with strange men. Tell me about that. What's yeah, this started like two years ago. Um, like we was on the verge of getting evicted. She called herself. She said she was scared to go in the house because she seen a manager, and some strange guy pulled up. You nope. saw her get into a car. I didn't see guy? her. She told me. With story... my child though. Does that story add up to you? No, add up. So, man, this man ain't gonna feed you no pizza and, and he feed ain't gonna ask for nothing. Yeah. Let Come me get on, this man. straight. She jumps into a car with a strange guy. With a strange guy. Who feeds her pizza? Feeds her pizza. And says, bye bye. Bye bye. Have a nice now, day. That was just it. Uh, What'd she tell you about her past? Like, she was an escort at one time, but I didn't judge her for that. I love her for her heart. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I, like, I was in the streets tough, like, right? I ended up going to jail. I, like, I barely knew her. I ended up doing like 12 months. Wow. She held me down the whole time, no questions, but you know what I'm talking about? Are you worried that she's cheating on you or she's going back to, to working out? I'm scared out that she's streets? going to the same person that she was before. You said she gave you, or she had an she STD? She had an STD. Like, she was going to get a birth control. During the process, they told her she had chlamydia. 
Did you get tested? I got tested and I didn't get it. So that makes you, that makes you dubious as well? Man, uh, for real, antennas come up. Okay, and what about this uh, underwear that you found under the bed? One particular night, right, I'm cleaning up the house she at work. I'm cleaning up the side of my bed. I see a pair of drawers. I don't wear drawers. I wear boxers. I've been wearing boxers for 14 years now, man. So, so whose were they? She said it was my son. My son don't wear no drawers like that. It was some big briefs. No. <laughs> Come on, man. So what happens if she fails the lie detector test and, and she, your worst fears are realized? What I are can move do? on, man, because right now I'm stagnated. <laughs> like, I've been diagnosed with PTSD. Yeah. I got a big trust issue. I lost, I lost both of my brothers to gang violence, and I got a big trust issue. But she was there for you all the time you she were in jail. She was there. I love her to death. Like, I would go against God for this woman. Straight up. No ifs and buts. She know it. Well, she's been listening backstage. Tiffany's been listening backstage. Let's hear her side of things. Tiffany, come on out. <laughs> so, I, did you realize that he's pushing you off? Him in bed? Did you know that was Yes, happening? I do. Did he tell you why? Yes. Now, were you told you had too many? strong smell, though. You know what I'm saying? It's been going on every for like almost a whole month now. Like, man, That's like. That's true, Elliot. But you know what she told me? My pH. I'm a woman. I'm changing. It don't last that long, though. Okay. How do you know? You got to call me because, because I'm a, Elliot's a doctor. He's a lawyer. He's a psychiatrist. All, he's all, all that. that. But I haven't seen any of his degrees. <laughs> okay. Let's talk about. Take me through this story. You jump into a car with a strange man who feeds you pizza. What, yes, what I did, Trisha. And you know what? I'm going to tell you, that was wrong. I was wrong. I, I admit it to it. You didn't I you admit it to say, my child, You're though. right. You jump into the car the, because you're on yes, your own? Yes, the guy was talking to me. I you was naive. I did, I did jump in the car. He did go and buy me and my daughter pizza. I had not a dollar to my name. I'm not from Oakland. I don't have any family in Oakland. I don't mean nothing, It doesn't though. mean a, anything. I didn't have any money. My daughter and me were hungry, OK? Elliot, Elliot. I don't care. My sister, you know where my sister stay at, though. She wasn't home, OK? Okay. All, right. Said, All right, let me hear some of the other reasons. Now, these, these shorts, these briefs in your I under the bed. I have no idea what Elliot is talking Man, about. He's seen, never seen, he's never shown me those briefs. Oh, All right, now. It, do you think this is because of your past as an escort? How long ago were you escorted? Um, I, the last time I did it was in 2007. What about this STD? How come he didn't have it? Elliot never got tested. I, did I don't get care tested. what he tells you. She Elliot lying. never I got did get tested. tested. Did you Stop get a form? Did they, did they give you a piece of yeah, paper? They did. did you Where, show? Where's the paper, Elliot? Man, come on, Tiff. Stop playing with these people. Don't have me come way out here, driving You playing with these people? What happened was I had yeah. a inside me. I got yeah. it taken out because it caused me to have an ovarian cyst. Wow. A couple days later, after they took it out, they, I got a phone call from the hospital. They told me I had chlamydia. Elliot was standing right next to me. If yeah. I had anything to hide, why would I tell him? I you asked didn't him tell where him. I the got doctor I said asked it. you where I got it from. I said, how did I get chlamydia, Elliot? And she going to tell me it don't be trying, it don't go through a man, it goes straight to a woman. Like, I, like, like it just popped up like, in Like, I called my mom, on, I called my mom, I talked to his shit. mom, on, and man. I heard different stories. Man, if I, I got was it, she got it, straight up, right or wrong. Yeah, but if it, I got it, she got it. If yes. she got it, I got it. But it are you no... sure you had a doctor's test? Yes, I, had a, I got a doctor's test. She lying to y'all. Do you think you'll pass the lie detector test? I know I'm going to pass the lie detector test. Do you think anything's going to change? I hope so. He tells me that he's going to marry me. We have a five-year-old daughter. She sees us argue all uh, the time. That's not good. Because since Elliot has been in jail, he told you guys that I've held him down. When, he, when nobody else was there for him, I was there for him. I was 23 years old. 23. How many women do you know is gonna wait for a man to get out of jail for a year? A year and then come home and constantly take care of this man. He didn't have a job. I was 23 with the baby. After my daughter came out of my system, I told him and myself, my life is gonna change. My daughter needs to see something different. Hey, I was a part of that change, though, right? You were a part of that change. I'm All right, so you let's find out. To help us reveal those results is our polygraph expert, Tim Acosta. <laughs> I'm just going to read out the questions that we asked Tiffany and uh, Tim's going to tell us whether you were telling the truth or not. So here are the questions we asked you, Tiffany. We asked, during your eight-year relationship with Elliot, other than what he knows about, have you had oral sex with any other person other than Elliot? You said no, Tim. Up next, have you had any sexual contact with another person for money? The polygraph determined that Tiffany... <laughs> This is not even right, Trisha. Hey, hey, hey. I'm hey, tired. Let's, I'm tired. Let's, let's, 
and later. Jan's family jewels have gone missing and everyone is pointing fingers. My future son-in-law, William, stole my jewelry from me. Do you think your you aunt stole man? the jewelry? Of course I do. If she was out there, sure she did. I think Carolyn had something to do with it. A Trisha show who done it. Lie detectors. Okay. Today on Trisha. In the beginning, we had a great relationship. Tiffany is the first person that I ever treated like a queen. I found out she was prostituting, and I never ever judged her for that. I know Tiffany is cheating. She had an STD, and I never got one. Tiffany smells like sex, like she's been with another man. I haven't had sex with my woman in four months. If Tiffany doesn't pass this test, I'm moving on. She jumps into a car with a strange guy. With a strange guy. Who feeds her pizza. Feeds her pizza. And says, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a nice now, day. Now just it. And what about this uh, underwear? I'm cleaning up the side of my bed, right? I see a pair of drawers. I don't wear drawers. I wear boxes. This STD, how come he didn't have it? Elliot never got tested. I, did I don't get care tested. what he tells you, she Elliot lying. never I got did get tested. tested. Do you Stop get lying a form? To these did you think you'll pass the lies detector? I test? know I'm gonna pass. I'm just gonna read out the questions that we asked Tiffany, and uh, Tim's gonna tell us whether you were telling the truth or not. So here are the questions we asked you, Tiffany. We asked, during your eight-year relationship with Elliot, other than what he knows about, have you had oral sex with any other person other than Elliot? You said no, Tim. The polygraph determined that Tiffany was being truthful. Thank you. We asked Tiffany, during your eight-year relationship with Elliot, other than what he knows about, have you had sexual intercourse with any other person other than Elliot? Again, you said no. Tim. The polygraph determined that Tiffany was not being truthful. <laughs> Let me ask you. Wow. I knew okay. she was lying. No, no, let's I go. knew she was lying. Oh, God, I was not lying. I oh, never had well sex. Hey, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Oh, sit down. Let's keep God. going. <laughs> Tiffany, let me just keep going and we will work this out. All right. We are. Out. We asked you, Real, did the underwear found under your bed belong to someone that you had had sexual contact with? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Tiffany was not being true. <laughs> Believe this show anymore. Hang on, just a minute. Let's keep going because the first one where we asked about the oral sex, you said no, it came back right. So it's either all right or all wrong. So, Tiffany, we asked the time you went with the man to get pizza with your daughter, did you have any sexual contact with him? You said no, Tim. No. The polygraph determined that Tiffany was not being <laughs> true. Relationship with Elliot. Have you had any sexual contact with another person for money? You said no. Tim. The polygraph determined that Tiffany was not being true. <laughs> this is not even right, Trisha. Hey, hey, hey. I'm hey, tired. Let's I'm sit, tired. Let's sit and talk. Tired. Let us sit and talk. I'm All right. tired. I know. Trisha, I'm let's tired. Do you want to listen? Just a minute. I told you the bitch right, liar. Let's talk. Bro. Let Trisha. us talk. If you want to work this out, he sit doesn't down and talk. want to work it out I'm with me. Out with her, bro. <laughs> sit down and let's talk about this. You have a five-year-old daughter. Get a pull your chair. <laughs> okay. Sit, sit. Now, here's what I'm thinking. You made a point back then. Okay, just listen to me. Calm down. Is she Hang on, That's just a fake, minute. Bro. Yeah, bro. Do you want to hear this yeah, or not? Hear right, I yeah, would like to talk to But I have a okay. five-year-old hey, with him, listen, right? Listen, listen. No, I don't believe it's fake. <laughs> you said something that was very moving and I think was really heartfelt, and that was that you went through a time when he's been off the radar, when you don't know anyone there. You don't know anyone in your area. You have to, rightly or wrong, you have to feed your child. You were left on your own that one time. That's what you told me, didn't you? Yeah, I was left on my own a lot. A now, lot, but I never, ever had sex. I made a vow to God. Listen, listen, listen. 
There was some. I don't care what none of y'all are saying. Y'all don't live the life on, I just live. Just a minute. And I'm not judging you by that. I'm thinking that there is a an, one occasion, maybe so far in the past, that's been pushed to your subconscious where you had to do what you had to do to feed your kids because maybe he wasn't on the scene or maybe he'd gone off or Never maybe something like I that. went to get a nine to five job. Tim, yeah, do you want to answer? Five hang, on. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. hang on. I did a zone comparison test on, on Tiffany, yeah. On Tiffany. I had, I had a good conversation with her. I did the most accurate detected. test that I, I could hang on, use. Let's hear it. Sorry, okay. second. The scoring algorithms, the computerized scoring algorithms scored the deception at greater than 0.99. She had significant reactions to those questions. Coming up. Elliot, I don't care what that got caught. I yeah, never I, did anything. I, can't wait I don't care yeah. what that test Man, whatever, says. I never did we'll anything. Shoot. Okay. We'll up next, Jan's family jewels have gone missing and everyone is pointing fingers. My teacher son-in-law, William, stole my jewelry from me. Do you think your aunt stole man. the jewelry? Of course I do. If she was out there, sure she did. I think Carolyn had something to do with it. A Trisha show who done it. Lie detectors. Okay, let's, let's go. Well, 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 well. Today on Trisha. Jan is here to uncover a mystery that's tearing her family apart. Jan fears that her future son-in-law, William, has stolen her family jewels. Oh, no. Now, when Jan was hospitalised for a heat stroke, she asked William to hide some of her jewellery. But when she came home, it was gone. Now, William claims the real thief is Jan's own sister, Carolyn. And to make matters worse, this situation has driven a wedge between Jan and her daughter Miranda, who's outraged by her mother's accusations. So before we meet all of the suspects, listen to Jan's side of the story. I can't believe my future son-in-law, William, stole my jury from me last year when I was in the hospital with a heat stroke. My jury had a lot of sentimental value to me, and I want it back. I know William took my jury because I asked him to hide it for me. But when I came home, he claimed the jury was gone. My sister has no reason to steal anything from me because she knows I would give her anything she needs. I can't believe my daughter Miranda's taking William's side. A damn man over me, her mother. I just want to know the truth and I want my jury back and I want it now. Wow. Let's start off with what, what was stolen. Well, my sister wrote my sister's chair and gave me a ring and it had diamonds and it, had, it was a ring. Yeah. And it was very nice. And then I had one of my mother's and one I had bought and one of my daughter gave me. And then, you know, it was... A lot was, of sentimental value. Yeah, yeah. I mean, a lot. And I can't bring back my mother. I can't bring back and take, get my jury back, you know, unless So, so let's I get go through truth. what happened. So you, yeah. you get taken to hospital. I, had, I was out in the heat all day. I had a heat stroke. So you, you from hospital, you ring... I call home, I said, bud, go in the bedroom, get my jury, put it up. This is to William? This is William, yeah. yes. And he said, okay. I called him back about an hour later. He said, mom, I got it. I put it up and it's good. I said, okay, good, great. Okay. okay I called my sister. I said, Carol, I said, uh, William put up my ring and he said, they're all good and I was okay. Yeah. So you get home from hospital and you want the jewelry back? I want my jewelry back and I asked him several different times. He gave me several different what, stories. Well, you asked William where he'd put it? Yes, and then he said, uh, he put it in the, my room in a camera bag, and I told him where to put it, and I did not. Okay, tell him so it wasn't in the camera bag? No. So then what, did he change his story about where yes, he put it? Yes, several different times. What other places did he say he put it? In a jacket pocket, uh, in the closet, and you know, uh, my sister came and got it. This jewelry has never turned up? No, it's not turned up. So you think know. William stole it? I know he's got it. But this is the man who's going to marry your daughter. I don't want him to marry her. Oh, you don't. <laughs> Am I on a thief? Who wants to sell on so long like that? But Miranda's on, on, Miranda's on his side, isn't she? I don't she? care. She can be on his side. How does that feel, having your own daughter take it? It hurts me, but you know, it is what it is. But you're saying that she's taking a man's side against a mom. Exactly, and I've been there 24, 24 for her. Could it have been your sister Carolyn? No, it was not my sister Carolyn. If my sister Carolyn had taken him, she would have said, Sissy, I got him. I said, no, I know you don't got him. Well, as you know, Carolyn, your sister, she's here today and she's in the audience. So, did you take that jewelry? No, ma'am, I did not. Everybody's pointing the finger at you. Let them point on, because I know I didn't. God is, knows, is, God knows Have I you did. stolen in the past? Yes, ma'am, but and when I did stopped. steal from people, I ain't never gonna stop. I would tell them about it. 
You would tell her about it. I would tell so her. So you're seriously saying if you stole something from yeah, your sister, you say, would. I did it. Yes, yes, you would. I wouldn't let my sister for all these months sit there and, and grieve over my mother's ring. Really? You Come couldn't on. see her in that much pain. Oh, Let's meet William, nice. hear his side of things. Come on out, William. You ain't down my refrigerator, was Why you a bitch? Pardon me? I took care of both of you people. Hey, never got you any trouble, never hurt either and one of you. Why have I done for you? cigarettes, Lord. took you anywhere you needed to go, and you know, good and well, you steal from me. Who brought your wife? I never said you didn't do anything for me, but I'm not calling you. Okay, have a seat, have a seat. Who do you think stole this jewelry? I think Carolyn had something to do with it because why, she, why came, she no, told me she was no, coming out the house one night to get some rings for Sissy. That's what she calls her. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think anything about that. Why well, wouldn't I let her come and get clothes for her, right. for her sister? Uh, you know, next thing you know, the rings is gone, and uh, she's blaming me. So I said, well, why don't you talk to Carolyn about it? She was out here. No, she wasn't. She denies being out there even. So you why would you deny you being out there? Why would you deny being out there if you didn't do that? Because I wasn't there. Where's my broom at then? Has she stolen the past? Well, not, yeah, she stole in so the past. Not from you. That don't matter. You've done it. I, but I, I admitted it. You were really getting you on with Jack. You used I love to be her. good before all of this. I love this. her. You love you her. Wish. Have you been Lord. good to her? I think I have. You have? Then why don't you? Why, why do you tell your stories different? Why did you tell the story different right. too many times? I told you I put the rings in a bag with the camera on that. What do you call it? Armoire. Uh, uh, yes, hey. Uh, uh, I never changed I, from that. So I started you, uh, looking uh, yeah, when they yeah. disappeared, thinking Get maybe out. we had this place them or something. But I knew I put them there all the time. I knew I put them there. Well, let's take a break because next there is one more side of the story. Jan's daughter, William's fiance, Miranda, tells us why her entire future depends on the results of a lie detector test. Stay tuned. <laughs> making such an issue when you ain't even looking at what I my jury back. It was mine okay, that I well, won. And you get it. Do you think your aunt stole man. the jewelry? Of course I do. If she was out there, sure she did. Why? Is that sort of That is what she does. And later, will Tiffany stop denying the truth and face her past? Elliot, I don't care what that test said. I never did anything. I don't care what that test said. I never did anything. Okay. Lie detectors. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Today on Trisha. Welcome back. Now, sitting next to me is William, his fiance Miranda, and Miranda's mother's Jan, who's accusing William of stealing her jewelry, over a thousand dollars worth. And in the audience, we have um, your sister, Carolyn, who everybody seems to be pointing the finger at, but you still think that William stole that jewelry while you were in hospital. Yeah. And that's why you're all here to do uh, a lie detector yes. test. Every single person involved in this yes, is doing is. a lie detector yes. test. We'll get those results a little later. Miranda, you and your mum, when you came on during the commercial break and your mum said you look nice, you were pretty off with her this is really uh, getting yeah to because it's bs you know if that was the case if she thought that he was going to steal from her why did she call him from the hospital and have him put him up in the first place hey, do, you your, your, do you think do you think your aunt stole man. the jewelry of course i do if she was out there sure she did why is that that's the sort of that thing is what she does and that's why i called yeah. the show Nobody thought I'd do it, but I did. Because this yeah. is arguing has been going on non-stop. Well, long enough. Mean? I'm tired of hearing about well, it. Is your mom still, you still living with you? No, no, she's not living with me because of this reason right here. You're saying that you're worried that she's married to, she's going to marry a thief? <laughs> is that right? Thief liar, yeah. yeah. There's nothing about him that's a thief. Uh, William, would you, would you call me <gasps> an honest man? Yes, I would. If the lie detector test comes back, I don't know what the lie detector results are going to be, but I'm ready. I'm if, ready. if they I'm ready. say that William stole that jewelry what's it gonna mean to you both to you then I mean we're gonna have issues we're gonna have major issues but I do not believe that who do you think st stole the jewelry I mean, I'm not gonna comment that. on that oh, if they're even gone. oh now hang on if they're even gone what do you mean if they're, if they're even, even gone what do you think my mother is so crazy she is not I mean, she crazy she can't even keep she up is. with stuff she'll hide it, stuff from herself and find it years crazy, down you're the road you what she's talking she'll about find it years down Dude. So you, you ain't done that yourself? Okay. okay. So why are you just, I mean, why are you making such an issue when you ain't because even looking at what my for jury it? back? It was mine okay. and I was well, going Then you get it. So, you ain't getting it from me. All right. So let me get this right. Miranda, so let me get this right. So 
it could be that your mum never had the jewellery stolen in the first place. Exactly. Okay, you think that maybe it was her sister, Carolyn. You think that it's oh, William yeah. and Miranda must know something That's about yes. it, the covering group. Yes. So, yeah. or it could be you just it wasn't forgetting me, about it. I was something. at the hospital. Well, in. Well, I guess. When I called and said, put them up, he said, I called him back. He said, he put them up. Where they at now when I come home? Okay. Why would you call oh, anybody and tell them to put them up? Why can't you <laughs> let them well, on your bed? Because I'm watching you get them. That's why. All right, everybody. Now, let's come to the moment. Let's come to the moment of truth for this family with the help of our polygraph expert, Tim Acosta. We are about to find out who is the real criminal. We're going to start. I've got the, the, the questions we asked everyone. Tim is going to tell us whether that person was telling the truth or lying. So here are William's lie detector results. William, we asked, did you take Jan's missing jewellery? You said no. Tim? Coming up, we have Miranda's lie detector results. So let's come to those. Bring it on, baby. Bring it on. And later, will Tiffany stop denying the truth and face her past? Elliot, I don't care what that got I never did anything. I don't care what that I never did anything. Okay. Lie detectors. Okay. Let's go. Today on Trisha. I can't believe my future son-in-law, William, stole my jury from me last year when I was in the hospital with a heat stroke. I know William took my jury because I asked him to hide it for me. But when I came home, he claimed the jury was gone. My sister has no reason to steal anything from me because she knows I would give her anything she needs. I just want to know the truth and I want my jury back and I want it now. Who do you think stole this jewelry? I think Carolyn had something to do with it. Do you think your aunt stole man. the jewelry? Of course I do. If she was out there, sure she did. But that is what she does. You think that it's oh, William yeah. and Miranda must know something about yes. it, the covering group. Yes. Now, we're going to start. I've got the, the, the questions we asked everyone. Tim is going to tell us whether that person was telling the truth or lying. So here are William's lie detector results. William, we asked, did you take Jan's missing jewellery? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that William was being truthful. took Jan's missing jewelry. You said no, Tim. The polygraph determined that William was being truthful. <laughs> you, we do that asked to you. William, Tell do you know where any of Jan's missing jewelry is right now? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that William was being truthful. Not. You know what? I'm not going to go any further until you apologise to him. Yeah. I apologise. Oh, thank you. Tree. Thank you. Thank you, Mom. So, wow. Carolyn's That's... lie detector yeah, results. Oh, well, let's find know. out. Carolyn, we asked, did you take your sister Jan's missing jewellery? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Carolyn was being truthful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we asked Carolyn, do you know who took the missing jewellery? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Carolyn was being truthful. Do you know where any of Jan's missing jewelry is right now? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Carolyn was being truthful. Okay. Okay. You were accusing uh, Jan. Do you, uh, you were accusing Carolyn. Do you need okay, to apologize? Okay, so I'm woman enough to apologize. I, apologize. I do apologize, yeah, I apologize, but you have stolen plenty of my stuff in the past, and don't and say you, you didn't. And like you ain't never stolen from me. Don't say you didn't. We have Miranda's lie detector results, so let's come to those. Bring it on, baby, bring it on. I took it all. Did you take Jan's missing jewelry? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Miranda was being truthful. Do you know who took Jan's missing jewelry? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Miranda was being truthful. We asked, do you know where any of Jan's missing jewelry is right now? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Miranda was being truthful. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you. So. Thank you. Like I said, she don't know where it's at. Didn't nobody take Hang it. On. She got it put up somewhere. Jan's lie detector results. We asked Jan, are you fabricating? That means making up. <laughs> are you fabricating that your jewellery was stolen because you took it yourself? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Jan was being truthful. We asked Jan, do you know for sure where your missing jewellery is now? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Jan was being truthful. All we know now is that none of you who are here took that jewellery. <laughs> okay, so it was nobody here. You have bought a great piece in our home. Yes, you yes. have. Oh, I'm glad. So much. We you are so welcome. Oh. So All right, we'll be right back. Up next, will Tiffany stop denying the truth and face her past? This girl was doing what she needed to do to look after herself when she felt alone and scared and she was a single mom on her own. You did what you had to do. I didn't have sex for money either, Trisha. After 2007, I did it. You still trying I'm to still not trying. I am not the lie. Lie detectors. Okay. Let's go. Today on Trisha. I know Tiffany is cheating. She had an STD, and I never got one. She jumps into a car with a strange guy. With a strange guy. Who feeds her pizza. Feeds her pizza. And says, bye-bye. Bye-bye, have a nice that, that was just it. What about this STD? How come he didn't have it? Elliot never got tested. You think you'll pass the lies detection? I test? know I'm going to pass it. Have you had sexual intercourse with any other person? He said no. Tim. Tiffany was not being truthful. <laughs> Did the underwear found under your bed belong to someone that you had had sexual contact with? You said no. Tim? Tiffany was not being truthful. What? The time you went with the man to get pizza with your daughter, did you have any sexual contact with him? You said no. Tim? No. Tiffany was not being truthful. <laughs> have you had any sexual contact with another person for money? You said no. Tiffany was not being truthful. <laughs> Lie straight well, up. Elliot, but I don't care what one, that bro. test says. I didn't lie. Right. I know you what I know, didn't bro. did, Elliot. Oh, know, there must be times, Elliot, oh my as well. Just you don't even know. This is breaking us up. My my daughter is not gonna have a dad right no, now. No, your daughter is going to learn Who's how you. It is? Hang on. All right. Let's let's talk. No, I, I do. I sacrificed a lot for this girl. She sacrificed a no, lot for you. Man, you don't know, understand. I sacrificed my family. She ain't, sac ain't sacrificed nothing for me. I won't be going through this right now. Just sit down. Sit down. For you real, were in bro. prison. You were in prison for a that year. That don't mean nothing, though. That's an excuse. What did you do? Let, let me just find out. She had to go back on the game. She had, did you have to go back on the streets when he was in prison? That's an excuse, man. You said, you said oh, that wait you a did. minute. Wait a minute, Tim. Yeah, let's go back to that. Other than what he knows about, I told you I prostituted when he was in jail to get money for him. Neither of you, neither of you are perfect. You're here, you, the reason you have any kind of relationship is because neither of you are perfect. Straight up, I'm, I'm loyal. I'm loyal too, you Elliot. Loyal. I don't care what that test says. I never you cheated on you. I've never no, cheated on you since man, 2007. Watch, I've been bro. a loyal watch, ass bro. girl. Watch, bro. You okay. already know what time it is, bro. What do you, you mean? You already know what time it is, bro. What do you mean by that? She already know. Now, now, I'm going to go talk about child. it. I'm going to go talk about it. So, you're going to leave your little girl? Yes, I've been stagnated. Hang on, what do you mean stagnant? I've been stuck. I've, she know, I, man, I'm stuck in a house every day. My whole life has changed. That's like, not, that's I, because of you and you. Ain't because of me. It's because, it's because what she's just been putting me through. I had sex with my woman in four months. Baby, I owned up to my past. Baby, Baby I, I owned up have to come here for I'm the one who called the show because I'm, I believe so that what? me and you, you just can got be caught. together. Elliot, I don't care what you that test said. I man, never I, did anything. I, can't I don't care man, what that test said. I never did anything. Okay. Is this what your child has to see? Yes, yep. this is what she has to see every day. Every day. I gave her time, time to time. There time, was, it. okay. There was a time I'm putting to you when there's either a time you've forgotten about or some overlap. I have there's not. maybe one incident you didn't tell him about when you were in jail that you had to do what you had to do. Listen, all I do is read what Tim says, and that first question about <laughs> the oral sex came back 
that you were you had told the truth. Yes. So either the machine's working the whole way through, or that's a lie to but you. I don't know. It doesn't else, pick and choose. I don't it know, but that thing is choose. a lie, and I watch now your show lie. every if day. I, I, bet, I bet if I took the test and I would have got caught, it would have been a lie then. You know what I'm saying? Come on now, stop playing, Tip. Elliot, stop I'm playing, not Tip. Playing with what do you mean? I love you too much you to play with me. you. I've been through too much, Elliot. You lie. I've been through too much. I know you have been through too much. I lost, I lost both of my brothers, three of my best friends. Yeah, they both been you cold, through bro. a lot. You cold, yes, bro. exactly. Bro, you cold, bro. You don't listen. And I can understand why if she did do something, she wouldn't admit to you because you're just shouting you don't listen to anything. And you already, if you're carrying on like this, yeah, okay. You know what I think? You know what I think? I think you do anger better than you do real grief and sorrow and tears. And anger pushes people away, Elliot. You're hearing me. Mm -hmm. You're hearing me. You no, know, I, I didn't. Just a minute. I didn't my minute. legs to anybody since 2007. What are you trying we to talk about that, Tim? No, we did. Tim. Yes, we did. Sorry? We did talk about that, and we covered that in the questions. Yeah, yes. and the thing is, it's not Tim sitting there making it up. It's a machine picking up little minute things that your body does that you cannot control. I He's reading that. a machine, and that machine says your your body responses were telling the truth for that first one, but they are 99% off the scale with the other ones. So he's got to read what the machine says, and it says you were being untruthful for those questions. <laughs> now, what I want to come back to... Now... I lost my breath. But she, just she wouldn't have done. She wouldn't have done anything she did to you because, oh, let's get Elliot. You do sometimes what you feel you need to do. Did you, when you went with this other woman and got another woman pregnant, did you think, ah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get Tiffany like for this? Nope. No. You wanted to do what you needed to do at the time and you did it. And then you lied to cover it. Am I right? It wasn't about getting her. She didn't, she probably had a lot of issues getting with you, but you wouldn't have been thinking about that when the month time goes down, you just want to get down. And then bang, it blows up in your face because you get found out. <laughs> and she stayed with you. She stayed with you. You got a choice, you can go off and have your separate trust issues and life will still be the same, it will get worse. Or you can say, we both messed up in the past. How can we change things? I, that's what I hope that I keep giving her a chance. She know I ain't with all this, this audience and all doing all this stuff, yeah, like, right? Yeah. She yeah, know this. I shouldn't be brought here for this. I, got I shouldn't of... be brought. You should have just told the truth. Elliot, then. I would have told you the truth if there was anything to whatever, tell you. Bro. I never whatever, had bro. any sexual, whatever. any oral. Whatever. I never slept whatever. with anybody. Man, don't you say you had any oral. I don't care what that test says. I want to yeah. take it over. Man, you ain't I taking really that over. You got caught in the lie. I know in my heart I didn't do anything wrong. I've been faithful to this man. I don't care what he did behind yeah, my back. He had that baby or whatever. A I just still a minute. Was down There's for a him. difference between being faithful and a difference between doing something that you, clearly in the past you saw as work. I would see it as cheating. If you hadn't, if that had come back and said you had had sex with men and it wasn't for money, then I would have said you were cheating. When money was involved in it, I thought this girl was doing what she needed to do to look after herself when she felt alone and scared and she was a single mom on her own. You didn't cheat. You did what you had I to didn't do. Have sex for money either, Trisha. After 2007, I she, didn't. You still trying to? You still trying I'm to manipulate? I'm still not trying. I am not telling the lie. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Your daughter needs to see mommy and daddy treated with respect and treat themselves with respect. Whatever happens, <laughs> you hear what I'm saying? Lie detectors. Okay. Let's go. Today on Trisha. So, now, are you sitting at home thinking, I know what that feels like? Do you think someone in your family stole something and you want to uncover the truth? Do you have a story like the one you saw on today's show? Something that we can help you out with because the worst thing in the world is not being able to trust people around you, right? Now, if you're in that situation, call us at one 855 trisha I want to thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>